what is better than a new art journal? Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I am always looking for inspiration and I found this beautiful book cover. Uh, it's just gorgeous. In a thrift store for 25 cents. I bought it simply because of the cover. If you're looking for inspiration and you're wanting to keep an art journal, I suggest trying at least to bring the the feeling, the color, whatever you see in an image that inspires you into an art journal page or like I'm trying to learn how to paint and draw faces. I've been working with shadows and as you can see, this is way off. Her face is not as full. I didn't spend a lot of time trying to get the color of the hair right. For one reason, I don't think I have these colors, but I am so inspired to keep learning. This is a combination of pens from my Tombow dual brush pens, Karen Dash crayons, and some other colors of watercolor paint. When I open my art journal and see this, I can see that I'm learning and growing. When I compare it to this, I'm not gonna get discouraged because again, I'm trying to uh, broaden my horizon, so to speak. So this is my new art journal for me. I filled up the last one. I have three more art journals for sale. If you want an art journal made like this, okay, you can see where I'm getting some color out of some flowers. That's so pretty. Oh my goodness, iris blossoms, look at that. All I did was pick these out of the garden, spray them with water and lay them between the pages and kind of press. So each page, I use watercolor paper and it is the Artist Loft Level 2, for example, in this one. It's a nice paper. You can do a lot of artwork on it. It takes water well. Now, I put so much water onto this page, um, I thought I was gonna start tearing up the paper, but that didn't happen. There are, let's see, I believe nine signatures in each one. Yes, it's nine signatures. And each one of these pages is about six by nine. So your art journal is about seven by 10 inches, I say 11 because the fabric hangs off just a little bit. These are fun, they're a little bit messy, they're meant to be, this is meant to be an art journal. It is meant to practice in, if you get stains in this. Uh, this was a leaf that I found out in the yard and it was so pale and so thin. I glued the whole thing down with some gesso and then went back over the top with, the, with some gesso and then dropped some ink on top of it. This page is not done, but again, I just started working in this today. This picture actually is probably not even done. I didn't finish this this part. Um, I think it would probably make a big difference if I did, you know, um, and I just attached this next page here with masking tape. I believe in the background of the book, it looks like a building. 
So if I go ahead and do that, see, I think it's making a difference already. It's every little thing you do to a page makes a difference. Um, so <laughs> once I get started, I can't seem to. So anyway, if you want an art journal like this, please leave me a comment. I'm going to start a list of people who want these art journals. Again, I have a list already with a few names on it. I'm going to show you the, the three art journals I have. They are a lot of fun. So this one has got floral fabric two layers of it, and then it's got this little strip from a beautiful floral blouse. Uh, I bought it just for the fabric. I never wore it. It was too small for me. I just love the buttons. I love the color. Then we have this piece of fabric with sort of the rhinestones or, or the sparklies, and there's my stamp. I went ahead and pinned a safety pin through this, the center signature, so you can just like push that up. I wouldn't take it all the way out. You can push it up and unhook it. Be careful and don't get stuck. And you can hang things from that, like tied to string or whatever. I'll show you, I'll put something on mine and show you what that looks like. And then when you get inside, this one has a pocket. Mine doesn't, I'm gonna add one later. And it's got this fun little pocket in the background. Now, honestly, this is poking into this first page a little bit. Nine signatures. They're all sewn in with the fabric strips like I like to do. These are a lot of fun to work in. This is all watercolor paper, so you can do a lot of work in here. You already know how my journals end up looking. I've got just a ton of safety pins in here and all of these um, things hanging down, butterflies. And then like on this one, you can add to these pages by making flip outs. So you can fill these up. Now this one's a little bit thicker. These are not that thick, but you can tell that you can expand some with these. Okay, this is the first one. We're going to call this one floral. If you want the one that's floral, and I'm speaking this to the people who I already have on my list, and I'm going to contact you in order and say, hey, go take a look at this. This is the first one that I have. The second one has got this pretty fabric like I have on mine. They're all pretty, but this is this is just like the one I have. It's got an image on the front from some toile of a girl in a swing. There's a safety pin. When you open it up, this one has no pocket. You can glue one in later if you decide to. Sometimes I don't like pockets. This one's just really a blank canvas. And again, it's kind of messy. It's just ready to start working in. There's my stamp on the back. Um, we will call this one pink carnation. And then on this one, so we have the fabric on the outside with the writing on it and the great big, these, these blossoms that are just huge. And there's my stamp on the back. It's got some floral fabric on the front and some lace trim. This one has a big pocket and it's just a like a hanky or a table scarf that's folded in half. And, you know, this side's not really usable unless you decide to put a pencil in there or something. I don't know that I would do that. I wouldn't want to start putting too much pressure on that, although it would hold it. So you do whatever you want to. And like I've said many times, I am not afraid to repair a journal. They're meant to be worked in. You have this pretty fabric on the inside with like these angels or cherubs. I think th those are angels. And again, the signatures that are sewn in with the fabric strips, more of that old looking fabric. And we will call this one, let's call it the gray and floral cover. This one is pink carnation and this one is floral. So these three are available, same size, same number of signatures, um, just the little you know, little different nuances with the pockets and uh, those rivets. That little pocket in the back of this one is, is, is hello, uh, this one. That's really cute. I do love that pocket and you can pin things from that. So with this one, since it has the rivets here, I am gonna put this really heavy piece of chipboard in here to keep that from allowing the rivets to get to that page. Um, you can see where they made a tiny indentation. That's not a big deal. Those are the three journals available. I will be reaching out to you who have asked for these and some of these might end up in the shop. I'm not sure yet about that. 
Thank you so much for watching. I will see you really soon. Bye for now.